Alrighty, hey everybody, today is going to do a model review of the 651 and 657Es made by CCM and 148 scale. Back there is the box that they both come in. There's no brochures for some reason that came with these. I've emailed CCM to see if they didn't print any for them or if I just didn't get some with, with mine, but uh, as it stands, I don't have them. So going over the functionality for the sake of time, uh, I already have the ejector in the dump position and the apron in the raise position with the bowl down. And then on the 57, I have the bowl up with the apron closed. And it obviously um, turns right and left and does what the tires spin. So now I'm gonna get into de the detail of the, these models. Um, so starting off on the tractor, on the cab side, see the tire has a good tread pattern, good bull detail on the rims. Uh, you got a metal ladder there, good trim around the windows, uh, cat. The doors do open, um, and it does come with a pick to, to open the doors, but I just, I have the pick in the box, so I'm not going to be showing you that. But you can see there's a seat with the levers and the steering wheel with the little dash on the side there coming towards the front of the scraper you've got um, windshield wipers the block c651e decal um, you've got headlights that are painted in an etched through grill which is great you can see through it right there there's an engine in there um, the guarding for the radiator. Getting to the right side of the tractor. Another block C decal, another mirror, more grab rails that are metal. This door right here does open um, to show your engine. Good exhaust, it's got uh, a hole in it. Air intake, your other tire. Getting to the transmission side, you've got a lot of good rubber hydraulic hoses. They're moving over to the apron. Um, cylinders, uh, decaling on your uh, oil filters there, warning labels. So you can kind of see the complexity and detail with everything. Hydraulic lines that are running to the cylinders to raise and lower the bowl. <clears throat> Cat logo right there. Get to the side of the scraper, you can see the uh, 651E decal. One thing I don't like about it is that it's kind of split in the middle right here. I would have rather that the decal was applied over and that crack didn't go through like it did, but that's that's how they've applied it. So um, getting towards the back of the tractor, I'll show you the top real quick. Um, you can see the bowl, you've got your cutting edge. It's got some uh, bolt detail there, and you can see your cylinder to push the um, ejector forward and back. Getting to the top there, a bunch of anti-slip texture and steps on the back of the stinger right there. There's a, a step with metal handrail there, and uh, you can see your tread pattern on the tires. The tread pattern looks phenomenal on this model. So... And getting to this side, it is pretty much the same thing. So, and there's a overview of the 651. Uh, word of warning, do not try to um, put your apron all the way down with the bowl down. This bar will get caught and you will bend it. So just keep it in the raised position. You have to raise the bowl up to close the apron. That's, I don't, that's just how these models were designed. So if you don't like that, don't buy them. So, but I'm just throwing that bit of information out there for the sake of this review. So the 657 obviously has the same detail as far as the cab and the bowl and everything, I'll just be showing you. Um, basically, here is the um, the bale 
that you would use to hook to the front of the scraper. I'll show you that here in a second. It is it is also moves forward and back as if you were bumping up to the to another scraper to sh take the take the shock. Um, and then getting to the back side of the, of the machine since this is a twin engine. You can see your second engine down there, your exhaust runs out the side, you've got an air intake on the top, metal handrails, um, you got a fuel tank with a cap right here, anti-slip texture like I said, your radiator back there, it's etched through as well. Here's your hook for the uh, bale of another scraper to hook to. This is guarding to protect your, vet, uh, your radiator from getting hit or punctured. Here's the stinger, metal steps. So, and then here's the other side. So that's, other than that, the, the scrapers obviously are very similar um, all the way around, you know, with the exception of one being a twin and one being a single engine. So I did promise you I would show you um, the, um, push-pull setup. So here I'm grabbing a 650, 657B that I had, I've had, I should say. And so there's a 657B and basically that's what it looks like if you had the two hooked up. And I think these, uh, these make a really good pair. I'll show you the 657B real quick. It's another phenomenal model. It's been out for some time now. So there's, um, there they are hooked together. So, um, I'll set that aside for now and I will talk about what I think of these models and conclude this review. So final thoughts on these two models. Um, I've specified in other videos in the past, I love scrapers, um, and I know there's other people out there that love scrapers. I think these models are executed phenomenally. I, I do think, being honest and upfront, these are CCM's two better releases in a while. Um, I think since the D11Ns, these are probably their, their, their next two that are just phenomenal, high detail very accurate models. The only bummer is, as, like I said earlier with mine, is I didn't get the brochure with the serialized number on it for the collectability. So I'll have to see if they did that or not. I'll find out. Um, but other than that, these are phenomenal scraper models, classic CCM um, detail and quality. So if you like scrapers, um, these are very easily to recommend. Um, I guess one other thing I could say with these that I... Am a little bummed about i'm not bummed about it but um i would have liked to have a lot of 651 e's that i've seen are more in the either black belt line or the power stripe trade dress with the more um the not high gloss or the high uh, lead paint yellow basically that like you see here so um it doesn't it doesn't take away from these models but it just i can't say that I've ever seen a, a Block C 657E, so I'm not sure if this is accurate or not. Um, and the decaling right here is kind of a bummer. Like I said, I, I wish that this was applied over this line so that it wouldn't you wouldn't have this gash here. But other than that, um, these models are phenomenal. Um, and uh, yeah, so that'll conclude this model review. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.